Hello and welcome back to Chemistry It Is All That Matters and today we're going to look at how to determine the percent composition based on the formula mass of a compound and we'll do that by using the gram formula mass and then separating out each element compared to that gram formula mass. So let's take a look at the molecule KMnO4 potassium permanganate and the first thing we want to do is find the GFM or the gram formula mass also known as the molar mass and in this case potassium has one atom mang manganese has one atom and oxygen has four atoms so we're looking at 1 times 39.1 the 39.1 of course comes from the periodic table and the manganese is 1 times 54.94 and for our oxygen, we're going to round off the 15.99 and make it 16. So we're going to go with 4 times 16, which gives us 64. 59.94 and 39.1. We add those together and we get a gram formula mass of 158.04 grams per mole or grams, gram formula mass units. Now, to find the percent composition, we're looking for what part of the total molecule is made up by each individual element. So what we'll do in this case is we will find the percent composition by taking the mass of each element and dividing it by the gram formula mass of the total molecule. So as we see here we're going to take the 39.1 the mass for the potassium divide it by the 158.04 the total mass of the potassium permanganate giving us a 24.74 percent percent composition of potassium in the molecule potassium permanganate. For the manganese we're looking at 59.94 divided by the total mass of 158.04 giving us a percent composition of 37.84 percent manganese and for the oxygen we're looking at 64.0 divided by that same 158.04 giving us a percent composition of oxygen in the molecule of 40.94 percent. So let's look at another example. So in this case we're going to look at aluminum sulfate Al2SO43 and we're looking for the percent of sulfur so in this case we're going to take the aluminum and we're going to do 2 times 26.9 giving us 53.8 sulfur is 3 because we are reminded that we distribute the 3 to each of the elements inside the parenthesis giving us 3 times 32.07 or 96.21 and the 3 times 4 in that distribution of the subscript 3 to the subscript 4 gives us 12 atoms of oxygen times 16 which is 192 and these three masses for the individual elements add up to a total mass of the gram formula mass of 342.01 or 342.01 grams per mole as the molar mass. So the question actually asks for sulfur but let's do each of the elements and take a look at how they line up and for this case when we take the 53.8 divided by that total 342.01 we get a 15.73 percent percent composition of aluminum in the molecule the 96.21 divided by 342.01 gives us a percent of 28.13 percent sulfur I made that one red so we understand that that's the actual answer we look we are looking for of sulfur percentage in the aluminum sulfate and the oxygen 192.0 is divided by the 342.01 giving us 56.14 percent oxygen in the aluminum sulfate molecule. So one more example of that should suffice and we're looking here at um, ammonium phosphate NH43PO4 we are looking for the percent nitrogen so once again we begin by getting the gram formula mass of the total molecule nitrogen is 42.03 by multiplying the three atoms times 14.01 we got the three because the subscript three outside the parenthesis is distributed 
and therefore we will have 3 nitrogens and 12 hydrogens. The 12 hydrogens times 1.01 gives us 12.12. .12. Phosphorus is 1 times 30.97, and oxygen is 4 times 16, giving us values of 30.97 and 64.0. When we add those four values up, we get a total mass of 149.12 for the ammonium phosphate. Again, we will find the percent composition of each of the elements. Now, the actual question asks for nitrogen, and that's in red, 42.03 divided by 149.12, meaning that we will get a 28.18% um, nitrogen in the compound ammonium phosphate. 12.12 .12 divided by 149 leaves 8% or 8.12% hydrogen. 30.97 divided by 149.12 gives us 20.76, the percent of phosphorus in the molecule, and the percent of oxygen is 64 divided by 149.12, which means we have 42.91% oxygen in the molecule. So as this was a review of something we already did in the first semester, um, this is just to make sure you're on track with molecular measures and how to find percent composition. So there will be follow-up in our next class, so be prepared to do some calculation of percent composition. As we continue through the semester, keep working on your chemistry.